Hello, and welcome to another edition of Pot Luck, your everything and anything talk and entertainment TV show. Today we have two very talented guests joining us who are performance artists who are from the Northern Virginia area, DC, Maryland area, and um, are here to help promote a new project that they're doing um, that will be, in, be happening in July. Uh, right now they have a video that they're promoting called Self. So please welcome to the show Pascal, Pasquale and Tori. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to say their last names, but it's a little, they're both <laughs> Italian and wonderful last names, so you might want to let the audience know um, your last names, if you don't mind. I'm Tori Bertocci. Bertocci. I, and I'm Pasquale Guiducci. Okay, Very Pasquale. Italian. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us Thanks for, for the show. Thank you for so, having us. So tell us, um, let's, before we get to talking about um, the video mm -hmm. and self and your, the project that you're doing, um, let's get into your backgrounds. Um, you're, you're both actors, but you also do some dancing and probably some other stuff. So, mm -hmm. you know, so tell us, tell us about your training and, you know, how you got started. Yeah, well, I, um, I got started for theater is what I started off in, mm -hmm. in like in third grade. Okay. And I knew I wanted to be an actor. Um, and then from there, I, you know, acted all through school, through middle school, high school, and then I went to VCU for, for theater. Mm -hmm. And while I was there, um, I got into dance as well. I actually got into dance before, and I took, um, I took a lot of cl classes at the Orange School of Performing Arts, mm -hmm. um, and I fell in love with that there and realized that I wanted to do both okay. acting and the physical aspect. So when I was in college, it was prime opportunity to discover physical theater. Mm -hmm. um, I did a lot of research into different companies and found one, Synetic Theater, which is in the DC area. Okay. Um, I was fascinated by, I, I just watched YouTube videos at first, and then when I actually saw a show, I was like, that's what I want to do. Where do they have shows? They have in Crystal City. Okay. Um, in the underground, we have the Synetic Theater there, okay. um, performing on the main stage, and they do I mean, all kinds of, of shows. They do a lot of Shakespeare. We're really famous oh, okay. for the no speaking with our Shakespeare shows. Uh -huh. It's really cool. It's like watching a movie. Oh, wow. Um, like a silent movie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay. really, really great. And so when I saw that, I was like, that's what I want to do. Uh -huh. Came up here and auditioned um, and was lucky enough to, to get in, blessed enough to be a part of the company. Wow. And I work with them, and so does Pasquale. And that's how we met. OK. Yeah. So tell us about your background. So um, like Tori, I also um, started performing at a very young age. I think I still have the video of me in kindergarten singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on stage. <laughs> always a fun one to break out. Um, performed all through elementary school, middle school, high school. Always mm -hmm. was dance captain, even I had no primary dance training. Sure. And then I went to, um, I'm from Jersey, and I moved to DC to go to American University. Mm -hmm. I studied musical theater there for four years. Okay. So I sing, I dance, I act. <clears throat> and um, during my sophomore year of college, we had this brilliant performer. Her name was Merzhenka Chekhova. She came from Czech Republic to be an adjunct professor on a Fulbright scholarship. And she was this brilliant physical theater, mime, um, avant-garde performer. And I had the opportunity to go on spring break to Prague. And oh, I watched wow. her company, it's her, her and her partner. Mm -hmm. um, they have a two-person company, Hunt the Horse. And she performed her three-hour production, only them two, and I was mesmerized. Wow. And that like changed, that changed my life in terms of what I view theater as, because at, at that point in my life, it was so focused on theaters, musicals, and blah, 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 and show tunes, right. and it was, you know, and that's what I did primarily and only. And that opened up my world to a whole new level of performing. Mm -hmm. And I really started like, um, to just delve into what the world could become for me. Okay. And then that, that summer, I actually auditioned for physical, um, for Synetic as well, and got in with Tori. So I've been okay. with them for, we've been with them for almost three years now. Three yeah. years, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So do you have any projects going on in the next month or so? you know, before you start your, your own project with them um, right now? I, not, not with Synetic. I'm a teaching artist with them. Oh, okay. Um, and so I'll actually be taking on the role of director with their spring camp and then uh -huh. their summer camps for a couple sessions. Okay. Um, so that's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then I also work with Deviated Theater, which is another uh, local company mm -hmm. um, in the D.C. area. Okay. And we are working on our new show, Creature. Okay. Um, so that's something that I'm working on, and we're going to be taking that up to New York, um, which is really exciting. Oh, mm -hmm. great. What is, what is that about? What is Creature? It's, Deviated Theater is um, more 
m more of a, a dance focused. Okay. Um, but it, it allows room for all types of, of things and exploration and all types of artistic mm -hmm. um, means and performers. And um, the show is based in um, an apocalyptic era, okay. and there are these different types of creatures, and oh. it's like their story oh, and wow. like what the world could look like if we don't. Uh -huh. Take care of it. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. Sounds really make you know. It's make, put some awareness out yes. there. Yes, yeah. it puts okay. awareness out there, and it is very epic. Wow, <laughs> very cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's talk about self. How did you guys decide, or what what made you guys think about doing that? They, and um, I mean, it's a great idea, and I think you. it would help a lot thank of people. You. Yeah. Well, and that's that's kind of where where it stemmed from is. And I, I, had been, I had been thinking about it for a long time. Like, there's always like ideas that are stewing, mm -hmm. like of things that I, I want to do. And I was sitting one day, and I was teaching a class. Mm -hmm. And immediately after class, I called him right away because I was watching these these students, younger teenagers, working. Um, and some were diving right into the work that I had given them. Others were kind of nervous or unsure of themselves. Mm -hmm. And I, I started to get to thinking is, I remember when, when I was young, like I, I didn't worry about anything. I never worried about how I looked. I never worried about, you know, um, not making friends. I never worried about, about what kind of person I was turning sure. into. And then the older you get, you start to get more self-conscious mm -hmm. or, you know, you're not happy with who you are. You're always trying to find who you are. You're always trying to find your weaknesses and work on those as opposed to, you know, finding your strengths and building upon who you already sure. are. Mm -hmm. um, and so that inspired me to to want to build a project on it and to to show people that yes, all these things happen to you, but who you are is is beautiful and you should embrace that. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, and, and you should love that because as long as you have love for yourself, you will be okay. You know, mm -hmm. other people come and go, and it's important to have friends yeah. Yeah. and to have like relationships and to have people to help pick you up. But you have to be able to learn to pick yourself up, right, as yeah. well, right, and know that you you can be okay on your own. Yeah. Okay, so your production that you're going to be doing in July will help to help people recognize this. Exactly. That's that's our and, goal, and <laughs> and especially maybe for those who really struggle with that, um, yeah. you know, and and you do an expression with dance, correct? Or will you be doing other right. stuff as well? So, the day she called me, we actually have a meeting shortly afterwards. She came to my house. I don't know if I'm here this night. Came to my house, and we just sat on my bed and talked like for like four hours about like what we wanted to do, who we think we are where we see ourselves going, and that's when we created our own company, Release Theater Company. Mm -hmm. And um, so we decided that with the show, we could just have people be insight, you know, have some insight to themselves. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's, you know, that's why, like, I know I've, I've felt in certain things, and I know that other people have as well mm -hmm. um, and at the same time though we wanted to make sure that it wasn't just like our story our story sure. like we're sure. reaching out to other people to make it more universal mm -hmm. and then through that that's where the physical theater and the dance you know the dance comes in um, but the, the whole thing is driven through the story mm -hmm. okay. so whatever the story needs yeah. we will give it that whether it's more of a physical piece <clears throat> whether it's vocal or text um, song um, yeah. you know monologues you know, Whatever we, we the don't, story we don't is. focus only on like nonverbal. Uh -huh. There's more to just like physical theater than just like not talking and dancing. Okay. It's a combination of many different factors of performance art. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, mm -hmm. great. So, um, when did you? I know that you guys went through a process to try to raise money t for mm -hmm. your project, and you finally made it. Congratulations! Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> when you first started it, um, what was involved to get the video together? What was involved to to make even that happen? so mm -hmm. that you can have this project happen mm -hmm. in July. Yeah, well, first, I mean, you have to, we had to find which one we wanted to use, and we went with Kickstarter, because um, mm -hmm. they have a great name, people know them, yeah. and there's that that push that's like, you have to get all your money or you you don't get anything. Sure. Exactly. Um, and so you have to go through and you have to fill out all the information. They have a bunch of questions, mm -hmm. you know, that, so that people who are going to back you know about your project and sure. can know that it's a legit thing. Um, and then as far as the video, what they said is, you know, you want it to be simple and not too much, but you really want it to get across the point of what you're doing. Right. And so for that, um, we are lucky enough to have um, another local DC performing artist, oh. um, Dallas Tolentino, mm -hmm. help us with the video. He helped shoot 
he shot all of it and then edited wow. it together. Okay. And I mean, and all I could do is sit there and be like, this would be cool, but he was the one who, you know, made it happen. Mm -hmm. Right. He put the music in and everything mm -hmm. to it, and it really turned out to be like more than I ever wow. imagined. Right. So yeah. without him, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know where we would have been. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Okay. We also um, included some personal like um, rehearsal footage. So mm -hmm. we try to record everything we do in rehearsal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just so we can like, I think you learn best by seeing things. Sure. So you, you know, and sometimes you don't even know what you do in a rehearsal process. It's so um, just on the whim mm -hmm. and you forget. So we record everything we do and we were able to use some actually live footage from our rehearsal process in the video as well. Okay. So you see some of that. It's all improv all the time too. Yeah. And the, um, we were lucky enough when we when we performed one of the pieces live um, back in October to have um, Enoch Chan, who is a photographer, a professional pho photographer in DC, and he was the one who was filming the, the piece. Oh, so we were okay. able to use his video oh, too. Great. Fantastic. So just to have you know like an actual performance, so people mm -hmm. can see, okay, like they've performed before. Right. Um, really serious people. Mm -hmm. Right. And then to have some rehearsal stuff of just creating more, and then just to have the face-to-face -face interviews. Yeah. Okay. The video really helps. Oh <laughs> yeah. Bottom line. Yeah, bottom definitely, line. definitely. Will you be doing any more videos just for yeah. to show? You know, mm -hmm. because if you can just explain to maybe people that are out there that don't quite understand what what we're talking about mm -hmm. um, about you know your video and what the intention is. Yeah, well, the, so the video, we want, it to, we want it to get across, and we still want it to get across for people that watch it, um, that the show is about rediscovering or finding for the first time your self-love and your self-worth. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and so the video introduces that. Now what our plan is to do is to keep putting up videos, um, just to, to keep all the people who backed us mm -hmm. updated on what we're doing so they have an insight to it. We also mm -hmm. are going to document everything mm -hmm. and okay. make a documentary video of, of the process of creating the show because as you know it's not the final product it's the journey sure that means the most sure um, so and that's you know that's that's what we want to do is make sure people are go along with us because yeah. not only is this a show for um, for people to come and see mm -hmm. but like seeing our process and seeing us Rediscover and refine our own self-love. Oh, mm -hmm. sure. You know, it's mm -hmm. yeah. it's real. It's not. We want to make sure people people know that we are we're being truthful and and honest with you, mm -hmm. um, so that they come to us feeling safe yeah. and vulnerable to witness our show. Okay. Now, if you just out of curiosity, if somebody you know came to your show and they're really like, you say they're like a young adult and okay. they're just feeling kind of maybe suicidal or just not feeling. You know, and they're, they want to reach out to help, but they've watched your show and they're like, wow, this really touched me. How can I get help? Were you going to have other sources to help them to go to the right places? That's something we haven't thought about um, in terms of um, marketing, but I think that actually brings up a good idea that we can, in our, we'll have a program uh -huh. at the show, of course. Sure. And that's going to include, like, you know, about little bios and about people who have helped us. And then it would be a great idea to put some resources of, like, you know, teen youth advocacy centers or, like, Glisten and like other like just suicide awareness hotlines and places you can go to find help if right. you want help. And right. we're gonna reach out to to those groups before we even open. Okay. To yeah. let them to let them know sure. and then and to let them know what we're doing yeah. and then get their okay to to use their hotlines and okay. put yeah. that in there. Okay. Yeah. Will you do um, Q and A's afterwards after the show when you do live performances? <laughs> I I hope to get in a few. Mm -hmm. What we yeah. have to do is see um, because there is a time, time limit yeah. mm -hmm. on the show. Sure. So we have to see how long the show ends up being and then talk to Fringe. I would love to have yeah. some Q and A's. The way Fringe Festival works is that there are usually about like <clears throat> eight locations, eight different venues where performances are are held okay and then they have performances every day from like on weekdays it's about like from 5 30 to like 10 o'clock on weekends it's from 11 to 8 o'clock at night 10 o'clock at night mm -hmm. I actually had a show last summer that was we performed at 11 35 at night um, and oh, so wow. you have all these different venues all showing different shows at different times all day long so at one point in time there could be eight shows going on at once in different places. Oh, so wow. it's, a, it's a very strict time frame. Mm -hmm. So if we had time to do a Q&A, or even like say, hey guys, after this show, we'll be at the tent, or we'll be at this oh, park, right, come meet right. us, you want to talk to us. We're definitely open to that, it'd be wonderful. Yeah, yeah. That, that sounds really great. Because the, we want the show to spark conversation. Like, you know when you go see a really good movie, mm -hmm. and you know it's a good movie if you talk about it on the way home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? And you keep talking about it. Right. Not only that night, but that
that exactly. week or month or whatever. Sure. So that's what, that's what we want, mm -hmm. and we want to hear people's thoughts. Um, okay. Whether whether they be negative or positive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, are you going to have is is the show going to be just you two, or do you have other people involved? It's it's just us that will be performing. Okay. Um, but we do we are really blessed to have a lot of local artists within the DC area mm -hmm. helping us. Um, we have Brittany Diliberto who is going to be doing our lights and our photography okay. for us. Um, Jessica Thorne, who is a, a artist from New York City, mm -hmm. is going to be making our music. Wow. Um, and she, along with my sister, actually, who is an opera singer in, oh, wow. yeah. down in Richmond, uh -huh. will be doing some vocals. They both have absolutely beautiful wow. voices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have Dallas Tolentino, who's doing all mm -hmm. of our filming and marketing and mm -hmm. our cinematography. And then we have TJ Witcher, who's doing our stage managing. Oh, OK, yes. great. Which we would be lost without, without a stage right. <laughs> <laughs> manager. Mm -hmm. okay. And the other thing, too, is our show, while it is mostly like us having these creations and this involvement, if you go on our Facebook page, you can find links to a survey. Mm -hmm. It's anonymous, and people can share their own stories. Yeah, okay. Which you can pull from and include that in our uh, own show okay, okay. to help make the, you know, a sure. more encompassing production. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds really exciting. So it's really a worldwide, it's a worldwide collaboration. Right. Yeah, it's not right. only you think us. about it. Yeah. <laughs> right. We'll be the ones on stage, but we couldn't do it without everybody else. Right, mm -hmm. right. So the people that you've already pulled in so far, have you gotten a lot of good feedback? I believe so. I think everyone, like I, we, we performed actually this past fall. We had mm -hmm. um, a small piece called um, Release. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Forgiveness. And it was a piece, that was the first piece we made as our own company. We performed it a few times and everyone who's seen it has loved it. Um, very touched, um, very emotional. And so that, 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 we, that five minute piece will be part of the grand show self. Sure. Okay. Um, and oh, from okay. seeing that, people have really got a big interest in the show already. Mm -hmm. And everyone seems yeah. to want to see more. Right. Mm -hmm. well, that's very exciting. Very mm -hmm. exciting. So, um, what have been some of the challenges, um, other than the money stuff? I'm sure trying to get enough to mm -hmm. even start the production. But what other challenges have you had to um, face? So far, I mean, the biggest thing is, you know, making sure you have a proper space to rehearse okay. um, because we, you know, that also costs money. I mean, a lot of this stuff comes down to is, is the financial mm -hmm. means sure, of it. Sure. Um, but, you know, we've remedied it to where, you know, like I've pushed things aside in my in my house so that you, we can use the basement mm -hmm. as as a rehearsal space. Uh -huh. You can sure. outside in the park sometimes. Go outside. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's know. just the two of you, too. Exactly. So. So it's a little yeah. And that's, yeah. And so the fact that it's the two of us, we're very we're very able to kind of work around. Mm -hmm. Scheduling can be hard because we it both is. have different jobs and do so many other things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we always, like, we make sure that we find time. Like, this is, this is precedence. Um, right. The thing with us, too, is that even though we don't have always the most time like, scheduling wise when we are together we work so quickly and so we're so in sync right we've always been very in sync with, in terms of movement and ideas mm -hmm. that we get a lot of stuff done within oh, within three hours like we have a whole piece already done oh, yeah wow. and mm -hmm. I always like to tell this story about how like how in sync we are uh -huh. I realized that when I when I choreograph things um, yeah, I, I was only just about to ask like who does like the choreograph we, I mean, we, we, we both oh, do. Both it's do. a okay. work. Okay. It's a yeah. It's definitely we come together. With ideas and uh -huh. just like, hey, I had this idea, and here's what I'm thinking. Let's try this. Let's do this. So Let like, me add on. Mm. Okay. But when I when I'm doing it, I will. I realize I only tell him half of what's in my head. Uh huh. And so I'm like, okay, so we're gonna start here, and then the rest of it, I just like say, I don't tell him. Uh -huh. So like, we'll be doing a lift, and he'll pick me up, and and then all of a sudden, I'll just like drop my body, and like, he never, he's never dropped me. <sighs> so it's it's like he always knows. Okay, she's gonna do something crazy. I'm just gonna be, be prepared and not mm -hmm. let her fall. Right. So that's wow. that's a good partner. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And you can rely on yeah. him. Very cool. Very much. Yeah. Very cool. So, um, tell us about your Facebook page. And I know you have a, a website that's in the process. And if you can let us know what that website is gonna be once yeah. it's out, uh, where people can keep their eyes open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so right now, yeah, we have a Facebook page. Um, mm -hmm. It's facebook.com. Uh, slash release physical theater company. Okay. Um, and on that, you can find all the updates. You know, we'll be sure to be posting the videos I was talking about earlier, um, just of our progress and how the show is going. Um, and so that just keeps everybody up to date on what we're doing. Okay. And then we are working on a website, um, and eventually it'll, um, I like it to be www. 
releasephysicaltheater.com. Okay. Now, you know, our mission statement about us, upcoming shows. Sure. Um, this right. Is, right now, it's only the two of us. We do right. hope, this is a company, like, or we do have our own, this is our company. Sure. So we do hope to expand as the future comes along. We want to sort of small, do our own project, really have our name be out there. And then hopefully within a year, we'll have, we'll have auditions, add to our company. So, you know, you can find audition updates, mm -hmm. um, links to videos, links to photos, just more sure. about Sure. Uh, like, uh, and ticket do. information, mm -hmm. where yes, to get tickets exactly. and so forth. So, okay. Yes, especially for the Capital Fringe Festival. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's thank been a pleasure. Um, and thank you for joining us. Um, if you're just catching us now, <clears throat> you can catch us on the web at www.potluck-online.org. And right now we're going to watch a video called um, Self, which will help people to, you know, realize their self-worth and, you know, any other things about themselves. Um, it'll, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll start to make you, to make you question how much you really do love yourself mm -hmm. okay. and how important you are. Yeah. yeah. And, and important to not only yourself but to everybody else around and you. And hopefully so. it yes. can be the start to a change. Right. Feel right. better. Okay. All right. Well, thank you again, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Self is an ongoing project, um, something that is in the very beginnings of being created, but it's, it takes place you know, within every human being. When you're a kid, you don't really think about you know, too much about judging yourself. You just kind of go out, you play, you have fun, you know, you know who you love, you know who you may not like so much, but then there comes a point in your life, and it's different for every person, depending on the people around you, depending on what life experiences you have, but there comes a point when I think almost everybody starts to judge themselves or doesn't look at themselves the same way or they're not good enough. Um, and so that inspired me to start a project to see how you can love yourself. And I came up here to work with a theater company and along that journey I met a very dear friend and we decided that we wanted to make our own company release so that we could get all of our ideas that get stuck up in our head and put them out into the universe and see if anybody can connect to them or feels to them. And I'm in love with physical theater. It's really great. And I decided it'd be the best thing to start my own company with my best friend. And so we are just really working and trying to make a new art style in the city. The biggest thing I think is once we get all of our stories together and we get we, all of our research and begin writing this and you know trying to make drafts, the hardest part probably for me will be figuring out what needs to stay and what needs to go. So this experiment, this project, is about showing those instances of when a person has reached a breaking point and when it's time for them to love themselves again. Artists can change the world in a nonviolent way. Sometimes people don't even know that they don't love themselves. Sometimes they are just 
they get so caught up in the routine and complacent with who they are and what, what they're doing. And then it's at, at which point has it become enough? And people, you know, sometimes you don't know, you're, you're spiraling downwards. And I think it's important that we see something like this and we just try to find ourselves again. Do you love yourself?